Hi guys, it's that time of year when we dig out the pretty coloured lights and try and figure out why they don't work properly. Now the old type of lights, you could pull the bulbs out one at a time and try and find the faulty ones. But with modern LEDs, it's not that simple. I'll just turn these on and you can see if you can recognise what's wrong with them. At first glance they look like they're fine, but actually you'll see there's a, a set of them, a set of colours, that are not working at all. Well that was interesting, so I was going along there. I got a loose wire anyway. So I can fix that one. I expect it's probably something similar on the dead run. But I'll strip the that heat shrink off there, resolder that one, and carry on. I've stripped the plastic heat shrink off. It has this little separator that goes between the two legs. And I've put a fresh bit of heat shrink over the two wires, so I had to desolder that side first before I could put the heat shrink over it, because my heat shrink isn't big enough to go over the LED. squeeze to get that on there, so I say mine isn't as big as theirs was. I'll have to do that off screen I think. Well, mine's not big enough so what I'm going to have to do is take that separator out stick a bit of hot glue in the middle. Just while I'm waiting for that hot glue to warm up, there is a problem with using hot glue. It doesn't actually make a weatherproof seal. It does initially, but after a while it gives way and we will get water creeping in around it. So I could use two-pack resin instead, but I'll stick to hot glue for now. That's just to hold the legs apart. Right, so we've repaired that leg, but we haven't fixed the other one yet. I'm going along these LEDs, the dead ones, and pulling the wires, and look, that's the faulty one. So I guess we've got a loose contact there. So I'll strip that one back and resolder it and we'll be back in business. Working set. There we are. That one is loose. So I'll do the same as the other one. Solder it back on. A bit of hot glue between it. Just keep the legs apart and we'll be back in business. Right, I've already tinned the legs.
I think this one's going to break off. That leg looks very... Lo yeah, that's going to break. Look at it. I wonder if I can replace it with one of these other LEDs that I've got. Cheap ones. These are white, so we'll have one white one in the middle. We'll try it out. Right, this is the replacement LED, which is going to be a white one. They had a thinner bit of plastic. I don't know if that will fit. Yes. I can get my heat shrink over that. Better just check whether it works. Looks good to me. So we've got a new set of working lights. Well, not new, is it? Repaired set of working lights with one odd white one in them. Job done.